six. Um, they're kind of all the same, especially in that gas prices are very, very high. Um, and especially during the summer, the hotel prices are very high. So, you know, don't expect to get a lot for your money. You're, you're going to be you're going to be paying over a hundred dollars for a motel room. You know, just a, a very basic, you know, one star, maybe two star motel room. Um, and there's a lot of you know, if you're paying less than a hundred dollars uh, during the high season, you're probably not getting going to get a very nice motel. It's probably going to be pretty rough. During gas, you know, you just got to make sure you gas up before you get into the, into the valley and you know, try to make the best of it. Bishop, you know, among the towns, Bishop is the largest. It has the cheapest um, gas. It has the most selects to tell. So a lot of people use Bishop as a base. Um, Bishop is just a little far from, um, from a lot of the things people want to do. Like if you want to go to Yosemite, it's, it's kind of far from there. Okay, so now we're in Lone Pine. <laughs> I should say, aside from Bishop, um, all of these towns are unincorporated. Um, they're all just uh, technically census-designated places um, in terms of their population. But you know, the uh, leader of the kayak guy, you know, these people pulling out, they tend to make uh, bad decisions when they're driving around. Oh, the Carl's Jr. Must have been where I stopped for breakfast or lunch that one time. Huh. I had no idea there was a Carl's Jr. here. Mount Whitney Motel. Well, there you go. So that probably means Mount Whitney is over there. <clears throat> one of these uh, towns has a little road branching off from it called the Mount Whitney Highway. Uh, and that's, that's the only way I ever know. That, uh, there's a subway to do that. What's going on here? Oh, the liquor store. Oh, I think we're hanging outside the liquor store. That's, you know, I already said it. These towns are so similar. This just, it looks so much like Bishop. It really does. You know. And I know it's not Bishop, but... Sure, sure, looks like Bishop. All right, Del Dilla. Probably gonna have to turn off up here. There's people right up on me. Just eager to get out of this town. Why was it McDonald's here? I don't remember that at all. Uh, just pull in front of this guy to get out of the road. But you look over here to the right, this is kind of what I'm talking about. This is, uh, I don't know, maybe this is a perfectly acceptable motel. It uh, just didn't, doesn't look like it from the outside. That's right, it's also the, uh, also the Shoshone here. So now on the Shoshone Reservation, <clears throat> adjacent to Long Pine. <coughs> Uh, 
So obviously as you head south, following the flow of the Owens River, um, the landscape gets a little bit more lush. There's more water available for irrigation. Um, the valley itself is just more fertile. Um, you know, obviously to an extent, as you know, if you know the story behind uh, the California Aqueduct and Los Angeles stealing the, the water from the, from the Owens Valley, uh, you know that uh, a lot of the not as nearly as much water as there otherwise would have been. You know, the Owens Valley could have been you know, a pretty pretty large population. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it would have been nice. I mean, it's a really pretty area. Okay, so next stop is Alancha, or next town, I should say, is Alancha. Not stopping there. <coughs> so, 395, um, um, all the way down to the split with Highway 14 is um, four lanes. Um, the exception is Olancha, and they've been trying to build a, a bypass of Olancha for years. I don't you know. We're going to see what, what's going on with that once we come up on it. I don't even know if they've started construction on it. Um, but once you get past the, the 395-14 split, where um, historic Route 6 goes towards Los Angeles, um, there's a couple of two-lane sections left. Uh, one happens almost immediately uh, after it's split. <clears throat> and those will probably eventually be wide because the traffic the traffic count is certainly certainly more it. Looking at that campground over there, see if it's open. It doesn't look like it is. State campgrounds are closed. Most of the uh, seems like county campgrounds are also closed. The forest seems like the only campgrounds that are open is the Forest Service ones, and even some of those are closed. So it's it's ironic because it seems like a lot of people are trying to camp. You know, I've, I've been seeing a lot of campers, a lot of RVs, a lot of fifth wheels um, on this trip, and I don't know where they're going because you know. Limited availability on, on 